I'm at Meadowood, Napa Valley, and dress completely in white means one thing at Meadowood. I am ready to play croquet. Jerry Stark is the director of croquet here at Meadowood, and I understand you're going to try to teach me this game today. No, I'm going to teach you to play this game today, whether you like it or not. Ooh -hoo. So let's go get the equipment. I thought this was a genteel game. Jerry sets up the course on Meadowood's croquet lawns. Meadowood Napa Valley is located in St. Helena. We're right in the heart of the Napa Valley. I have two full-size tournament lawns here. A full-size lawn is 105 feet long by 84 feet wide. For most of the time when I have groups out here, what we're going to have today is four half-size courts. There's six wickets. The wicket is what you hit the ball through. <laughs> now we're ready. First we need the balls. Mallet for you and a mallet for me. Thank you. I am armed. <laughs> You're heavy. How heavy do you think it is? 20 pounds. 20 pounds. <laughs> you need to hit the gym. <laughs> Mallets weigh three pounds. The balls weigh a pound. Next, Something we get a grip here. on things. Left on top, right hand below with the palm forward is called the standard grip. The second choice is to turn the right hand over, called the Solomon grip. Okay. And the third choice is both hands back with the palms forward, called the Irish grip. And it's whatever is most comfortable. We're all built different, got different flexibilities. Can I change my mind mid-course? You can change your mind mid-course. It's my prerogative. Yep. <laughs> I'll go with the standard grip. Left hand on top, right hand below, palm forward. You want to swing from your shoulders, not your wrists. Most people pick up the mallet and all they do is twist the wrist. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is swing the whole arm. So move your hands. There you go. Then your hands end up out in front of you on the follow through. After a few practice hits, row, sham, bow. Gotcha. We're ready to play. Put the toes in front of the ball. Jerry is ranked one of the top tournament croquet players in the U.S. And now I see why. Yeah, As for me, right I'm just getting the swing of this game. <laughs> nice practice swing. But Jerry thinks I can make a jump shot. <laughs> I did it on my first try. You did it on your first try. <laughs> Beginners luck aside, we have six wickets to play until one of us gets four out of seven points. You score a point if you are the first to hit the ball through the wicket. So, you know, the last time I played croquet, I think I was about nine in my grandpa's backyard. <laughs> right, that's what I get from most of the people here. This is a very different game, though. I mean, I came out here thinking it was going to be so easy. It's actually kind of tough. It is. I call the backyard game the kid's game, and this is a grown-up version. Undeterred, I even manage a long shot. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, he didn't get that. Can you reshoot it? <laughs> At the end of the game, our scores are tied. If it's three to three after the six wickets, whoever hits a stake gets that fourth and deciding point. Oh, missed it off to the left. Oh. And the winner! I did it! Good day. Thank Good day. You. Well, the lesson's over. Playing croquet at Meadowood is a decidedly different way to spend the day in wine country.